Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Consumer Debt Free, currently working on my family loan and trying to save as much money as I can. This video is going to be um, updating all my trackers for the month of January. I realized that I did not update them with you guys or like in general, I didn't update them general in general. So I'm going to take the time to update them in my Erin Condren financial planner and then my also my a5 planner um okay so we're gonna go to january and i did do a couple of updates that i forgot that i was supposed to do like my savings for my 30 to check um and i think that's it yeah i forgot to post that um okay so my um, I did do this off camera too, like my self reflection, my wins and my struggles, my final balances, my percentage. I haven't really done it just because um, January 30th paycheck is till February, lasts me till February 15th. So I need to really see how much everything is before I can do my percentages. Um, oh, and I do want to say that I corrected this. This was supposed to be zero. Because these are my balances. So this was zero. And then I fixed this. I was like a hot mess with this video. But that's because I didn't do my draft. So lessons learned. Alright. So when I say my trackers. I mean the back of my notebook. Um, so what we're going to do is take my mild liner. And for this month. We actually saved another. We saved 900. But. Um, what's it called? I've only done it by two. So I'm going to have to only highlight two more. And then maybe half of one. Yeah. And my goal is to switch out the colors every month. Just so I can see visually how much I saved. So that's 900, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 100. That's 900. Um, then we also did 160 for my home essentials. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. That I always post on Instagram what I've saved. So this was accomplished. Um, emergency fund. One, two. Um, I have 300 now. 20, 40, 60, 80, and well i'll tell you in my other video so 300 which is amazing um family loan was done already now net i already did that google adsense i already did that yeah um yeah this was done too, so this is what I have in my savings balance. I did this already. So, yep. I paid myself back with the 30th paycheck. Okay, so those were my trackers in my Erin Condren. Alright, so now we're going to go and do my um, A5 Filofax. So if you're new here, um, basically this one is going to be with me throughout years. My Erin Condren is really more for yearly and then it gets stored away. But this one I'm hoping I will stay with me throughout the years. Um, okay. Let me see. I am going to update my trackers. So let me get my favorite pen for this. Um, all right, savings tracker 130. 130. Oh, I have to subtract um, what I pulled out from here. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it 130 just so that <laughs> I can, um. Don't have to take out my white out. So 130. We have I borrowed from myself 3883 minus 4950. I borrowed from myself that much. So I'm gonna 
want to say this and I withdrew I withdrew four thousand nine hundred and fifty to pay for my Invisalign and I'll put pay care credit pay care credit okay so I paid care credit for nine four thousand nine hundred fifty and now my savings is twenty five thousand nine hundred and thirty three okay so um now this was like in before 1 30 but i forgot the exact date but it doesn't really matter as long as i note it down now i'm gonna put 1 30 again so i did save another um 4.75 and then i didn't withdraw so that would be plus 4.75 and that would give me to 26,408. Then on 130, I also paid myself back the my payment plan to pay my 2020 savings back. And that was 300. So plus 300. Now I have 26708. So this was 2021 savings and this was 2020 savings. Just so I remind myself, this payment was for my 2021 goal and this one was to pay myself back. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay, now we're going to do my 2020 psych. This is my emergency fund. So for January 30th, I gave it another 50 so now we have 300 and this is actually in the bank now um okay so then my 2021 goal we have 130 21 um plus 475 now we have a total of 900 towards our 10,000 to 12,000 savings goal for the year 2021 Okay, um, I don't know why I put this one in the bag, but it's okay. So, 130, 21, then another plus 60. And now we have 760 for home essentials. Um, my family loan, I already did that. Oh, wait, no. So, my starting balance is 2950. And I made a payment of 150 because of Google AdSense. So that was 121. Because that's when I get paid from Google AdSense. So now we have two oops, site 2950 minus 150. Oh, one, one, one fifth. Oh my god. <laughs> two nine five zero minus one fifty. So now I owe my family loan two thousand eight hundred. And this is my number one goal this year. Hopefully I finish it in six months, but I definitely want to get this out the way so that way it opens up more money for my paycheck. And I just pay my family member back. Um my school loans, nothing. Because that was on the 15th. I do want to... Okay, 20, 2020 savings back. So I made a payment of um, 300 um, On one thirtieth, I guess I'm going to go up. Because I'm trying to bring this up back to 10000 So... Four nine. Hopefully, oh, you cannot see it. I'm like, okay. Four nine five zero plus three hundred. Now I have ten thousand. I mean five thousand two hundred and fifty from my twenty twenty savings. So this way, I keep track of did I pay my twenty twenty savings back and did I pay my and, and, and am I reaching my 2021 goal? Yep, and that is it.
it actually yeah i'll update this with my setting of my february so yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed this video it's probably like a really short one um let me know if you did enjoy this video if not i can do this off camera um but yeah guys hopefully you did enjoy this video we're almost at 2k um that's so exciting and please comment like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye